Hi friends, welcome to Lent Tent. I'm Barb Nemechek. Hello everyone, I am Jim Nemechek and welcome to our Lent Tent, um, also known as a teepee. But it's our designated place, as we've told you last year, to get away from it all, uh, to pray and reflect during this period of Lent. Lent is the period of 40 days before Easter, not including the six Sundays, which begins on Ash Wednesday, February 22nd. It will end on Holy Saturday, the day before Easter. And this year, Easter falls on April 9th. We will share our message from the tent here over the coming weeks to remind us all of the 40 days that Jesus spent in the desert. At the start of his ministry, Jesus went alone into the desert to speak with God, to be strengthened by his Father, be aided by angels, and yes, to face temptation. Mm -hmm. Now, your special place for Lent can be in your living room, it could be in your backyard if it's weather is cooperating, or any place that is a special location to you, with or without the tent. What's important is that you show a commitment to spending time with God. That commitment will find favor with God. It can be hard sometimes for people who make commitments for spending time in prayer and for doing God's work. However, there are indeed things that bring out commitment in people. Really? What do you mean? Have you ever heard of Force Friday? No. Is that like a World Wrestling Day or something? Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Force. Something to do with Star Wars? There you go. Ah. Keeping with our Star Wars theme from last week. You <laughs> all remember that if you were watching us. Force Friday is when new action figures like this guy, for example, are released before each new movie. Force Friday is usually two to three months uh, before a new movie, and it's the first chance to buy any new characters from that movie. Mm -hmm. You know, I bet Force Friday is stressed at stores with midnight openings, giveaways, parties, so that Star Wars fans can pour into the door to get their hands on these new toys. Of course, you may not see many kids at these parties because Force Friday begins at midnight. Mm. Of course, you might. <laughs> uh, fans will line up for hours in advance to get their hands on the newest toys or the latest Star Wars collectible. And most of those fans are actually adults. That is quite a commitment to wait in line for hours to get movie paraphernalia. Yes, it is. I guess those adults grew up on Star Wars and they never lost their love for the movies or the toys. And even as grown-ups, they keep on collecting these toys that they love. It does take a lot of commitment to her love to stand in line at midnight for an action figure from a movie. I enjoy my sleep too much, so it won't be me. Uh, but that love pales in comparison to the love of God. God's love is powerful enough to change the world. God's love can change the hardest of hearts. You're right. God's love is amazing. His love can heal families, restore friendships, and lead even the worst of sinners back to Jesus. There is no force greater than the love of God. Nothing is more powerful than love. The most well-known verse reflecting God's love is likely John 3.16. And it states, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. In Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 40, Jesus tells us the greatest commandment in the law is love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and prophets hang on these two commandments. 
when a neighbor or someone you know hurts you, loving that person as yourself could be a real challenge. You know, Star Wars is one of those stories where you never have to wonder who the bad guy is. The bad guys and evil are pretty hard to miss. They wear black, Darth Vader up here. They usually have a hood as part of their garment. They carry a red lightsaber and they're surrounded by fearless armored soldiers or battle droid. The bad guys in Star Wars also share one common goal. They like big weapons, really big weapons. On land, they prefer the large, cumbersome battle walker that looks like a dinosaur. In space, they fly around in a speedy craft called TIE Starfighters and even bigger ships called Imperial Class Star Destroyers also above my head. And let's not forget about the really, really big weapons that the bad guys built. The first Star Wars movie featured a weapon called the Death Star, which is hanging directly above the middle. It was basically a weapon the size of a small moon. Then in a later Star Wars movie, the bad guys went one step further and they created the Star Killer Base. Mm. The base weaponized an ice planet to become the Empire's newest and most powerful weapon that could destroy entire star systems. The Empire wanted power, and they thought power could be had through big ships, big weapons, and big guns. Yet, even in the Star Wars universe, we see there is a force more powerful than the force itself. That power is our Star Ward of the day, love. In Star Wars, love of freedom and all things good motivated the Jedi and their allies to defeat evil in the Empire. In our world today, God demonstrated his love for us by sending his son Jesus to save us from our sins. And God gave us a command to go into the world and share his love with others. Our star word last week was sin. And you'll recall that had you watched us. We learned that sin is when we disobey God. And the Bible tells us that we have all sinned and that the punishment for this is death. There was nothing we could do to save ourselves from sin. So God sent Jesus to save us. Jesus died on a cross and paid the price for our sins once and for all. His love is all we need to be saved from our sins. Now God wants the whole world to be saved by the love of Jesus. So he gave us two commands. He told us to love him and he told us to love others. God can use our love for him and others to share his love with other people who need it. God has given us the power to save our world because he has given us his love. God's love is a force to be reckoned with. He created the universe and everything in it because he loves us. He loves every person very much, so much so that he would even send his son to die for us to save us from sin. Love is what saved us from sin, and love can give us eternal life. Love is also the most powerful weapon we have to fight against evil and sin. If we're doing what God says, we are showing love to him and to others. When we choose love, we will resist sin and we will do what is right. Mm -hmm. Love is when we think of others before ourselves. Love means we are willing to give, to share, to lend a hand to anyone in need. Love is how we show other people that there is a God who loves them. 
and a God can use our love to save friends, co-workers, and even enemies from their sins. You're right. There is nothing more powerful than love. Love saved us from our sins and love can save others as well. Let's thank God for the amazing love that he has given to us. And let us make a commitment to ourselves to use the power of love to change our world. Our call to action this week to you and to ourselves is to think of something that we can do for a loved one this week. Recall the verse from 1 Corinthians 13. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Now let us move to end in a word of prayer. Dear God, as we begin this Lent journey, please help us to make a commitment to spend more time in prayer with you and to love others more than ourselves. We pray this day for the people who lost their homes and their loved ones during the earthquake. Please help them and comfort them through this difficult time. We ask that you help world leaders to make the right decisions in response to what is going on in the world. Help us on our own personal Lent journey to grow closer to you by reading, praying, almsgiving, and fasting. You may add your personal intentions at this moment. Amen. Amen. Thanks everyone for being with us and a special thanks this week to Pete who loaned us a prop for our Star Wars theme. Thank you everyone. Have a blessed and uh, fruitful Lent and we will catch you again next week also Tuesday. Remember it's Lent Tent Tuesday during this season and uh, both Facebook and YouTube. All right catch you next week. Bye. Bye everyone.